Hello plant lovers and welcome to the Lupin edition. Right now I'm just showing you on the screen some um, lupins that I purchased from Etsy. Lupins are actually here and they have arrived um, quite quickly actually. I was quite impressed and you may be wondering why I'm buying my seeds from Etsy. The thing is that I saw, I think the channel is called Garden Wise or Gardening Wise. She was planting up lupins in January. So I went online looking for pink lupins and I couldn't find them anywhere. They were all sold out, pink ones in particular, because I actually want to have kind of like a pinky, kind of romantic vibe in my garden this um, this spring, summer. Uh, and I don't really want hot colours. I prefer these kind of more calming uh, colours like pink and, and white and whatnot. So anyway, I went on the hunt and I came across these. It's 20 seeds for 2 dollars um, it looks like they have been home, their home safe seeds, I think, and it was exactly what I'm looking for. So without further ado, let's get planting. Okay, so we're out in the garden and I'm just showing you the packet again. And I bought recently a new potting tray, which I'm really happy about. So here I'm just mixing some compost, some perlite and um, the other one, which I forgot what it's called. I'll put the name once I remember it on the screen. And I'm just um, getting some random pots that I have. I've got a bit of a shortage of pots at the moment, um, but I've ordered some. Um, and as you can see, I'm trying to make do with that Hagen Daz um, pot there, recycling at its best. Um, yeah, so then I just, these are the seeds, just getting them out of the packet and there they are they're quite big and easy to work with which is good now um i apologize for the lighting it's about to get really weird um i was actually outside in the garden and it got a bit overexposed anyway while i'm planting let's have a quick chat about lupins so lupins are very classic cottage garden plants they are bold with colourful spikes and they generate like pea-like flowers which flower in early summer and attract the pollinators, especially bumblebees. Uh, lupins are sun lovers so they appreciate a sunny positioned or dappled shade and they make a great cut flower. And one of the things I really like about them is that they're perennials and as we know perennials are the backbone of the garden. Um, and you know they'll come back and say hello every year which is something I really like. In addition to that lupins do come in different sizes so if you are thinking of uh, bringing lupins into the garden do take note of the height because they can go up to like a meter 1.5 meters but the particular variety that I've chosen gallery rose is just grows up to half a meter so I can kind of position it um, you know still towards the front of the border but if it was a really tall one then it would have to be at the back of the border so here i am just labeling up the pots with my homemade labels which i just literally cut out of milk bottles and i am hoping for a lovely display this summer so that's it from me i hope you enjoyed my video as always take care until next time